Welcome to the Muslim Viewpoint, a video podcast series powered by the national non-profit media platform, American Muslim Today. We are looking at the latest in the international response to the turmoil in Pakistan, where a protest led by the opposition party, which has resulted in violent protests and a brutal military crackdown. Jailed ex-Prime Minister Imran Khan's Pakistan Tariqa Insaf party has paused its protest following a dramatic overnight raid that forcefully removed his supporters from central Islamabad. Khan supporters had begun a long march on Sunday to the capital from Khyber Pakhtunwa and the most populous province of Punjab to demand his release. Authorities reopened roads connecting Islamabad to the rest of the country on Wednesday, lifting a lockdown that had been in place since Sunday. Among the abandoned vehicles in the heavily fortified red zone was a truck used by Bushra Bibi, wife of the jailed former prime minister, and she had led the protest. The scenes highlighted the aftermath of days of political unrest and security crackdowns. Amid circulating reports of hundreds of deaths during recent clashes, Pakistan police announced that nearly a thousand protesters had been arrested between Sunday and Tuesday. Amnesty International has called for a transparent investigation into what it is described as a deadly crackdown on PTI supporters during the high-stakes protest at Islamabad's D. Chalk region. In a statement posted on X, the global human rights organization condemned the authorities' actions, saying yet again protesters in Pakistan have faced a brutal and lethal crackdown, shrouded in a callous opacity by the authorities. The crackdown reportedly targeted PTI supporters who had gathered at the site, escalating concerns over the state's handling of peaceful demonstrations and political dissent. Amnesty International urged the government to ensure accountability and transparency in its response to such incidents. The Guardian reported Wednesday that at least 17 civilians in Pakistan were killed, with hundreds more injured by army and paramilitary gunfire aimed at protesters. A doctor in Islamabad claimed that authorities were attempting to cover up the deaths. At least seven have died and four are in critical condition in the hospital, according to the unnamed physician, who said that on Tuesday night he treated over 40 patients, many injured by gunfire. Eight more have been admitted to the hospital with bullet wounds, he stated. All records of the dead and injured have been confiscated by authorities, said an emergency doctor who spoke on condition of anonymity for safety reasons. We are not allowed to speak. Senior government officials are visiting the hospital to conceal the records, he claimed. Newspapers are also reporting that its reporters have witnessed at least five patients with bullet wounds in one hospital, which was surrounded by police. The Washington Post reported that Khan's party described Tuesday's clashes as a massacre, raising serious allegations against the authorities. However, the government firmly denied the claim, stating that no live ammunition was used during the confrontations. Reuters stated that Ali Amin Gandapur, a top Khan aide and chief minister of Khyber Pakhtunwa province, who was a part of the protests and fled when the oper operation began, accused the authorities of using excessive force against protesters who he said were peaceful. He said hundreds had sustained bullet wounds. Pakistan's information minister and an Islamabad police spokesman did not respond to a request for comment on the allegations. Both Imran Khan's wife and I were attacked directly, Gandapur told a press conference in the city of Mansehra, in the province he rules. Khan's wife, Bushra Khan, managed to escape unhurt. Mahmoud Asim, PTI's president for Peshawar in the party's northern stronghold of Khyber Pakhtunwa province, told Reuters that they will devise a new strategy after proper consultation. The BBC reported on viral video that purportedly shows Pakistan security forces pushing a man off a container during the recent protest. The incident sparked outrage with PTI describing it as one of several examples of police brutality at the demonstrations. According to PTI, the man who had been praying on top of a container when armed officers approached him and brutally pushed him off from a height equivalent to three stories. The party has since called off the protest, citing such incidents as evidence of excessive force used by authorities. The BBC has confirmed that the incident took place on Tuesday at the corner of Jinnah and the Turk avenues in Islamabad, where protesters had gathered. The video has further fueled criticism of the government's handling of the protests, intensifying the debate over police conduct during political unrest. In the aftermath of the cold off protests, Al Jazeera said the Pakistan government had filed a series of charges, including one related to terrorism against Khan, his wife, and hundreds of PTI party workers. After the protest, Khan Khan's wife, Bushra Bibi, and others have been accused of violations of a law that restricts protests in the capital. 
attacks on police, abduction, interference in government affairs and defiance of Section 144, which prohibits gathering of more than four people. India Today released a compelling photo feature capturing the nationwide protests. The striking series of images captured the turbulence engulfing Pakistan, where political unrest surged onto the streets, sending shockwaves through the nation's future trajectory. Rooted in unwavering support for Khan, the protests exposed the profound divisions shaping Pakistan's political landscape. According to reports from the New York Times, while protesters were dispersed by Wednesday morning, tensions still lingered in Islamabad. The ongoing political uncertainty has left many residents fearing that another wave of unrest could break out at any moment, once again disrupting daily life. to disrupt the escalating tensions. The crackdown has drawn criticism with PTI accusing authorities of excessive force, adding to the mounting unrest over Khan's detention and the government handling of dissent. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to give you further updates on the situation in Pakistan as we get the news. So please tune in to Muslim Viewpoint, powered by, of course, American Muslim Today. Thanks for joining us.